Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> hey virgo welcome to your reading for august 2019 thank you so much for tuning in i want to do i just want to say a quick happy birthday to the august virgos yes in uh if you are if you resonate more with western astrology okay but let's get into your reshuffle energies. It's interesting because um, when I was channeling your energies and just like meditating on your energy for a little bit, I was seeing you as like in the nine of pentacles state, which technically is a Virgo energy. Yeah. But then here with your um, with your pre-shuffle energies, you have the six of swords. All right. 
But then you also have, so automatically, that was the first card that came out, and automatically I was like, all right, so Virgo's moving away from something, clearing out the past, that's great. But then the Ten of Wands came out in reverse, and the Ten of Swords. So this really, this literally feels like the straw that broke the camel's back, Virgo. <clears throat> And then you have the two of wands here underneath the deck. So it's um, it's it what I'm feeling with this, and this is feeling fairly aggressive, Virgo, not gonna lie, but it's not like you're trying to be aggressive. It's literally literally just an energy of the straw that broke the camel's back. It's like you're absolutely done with some sort of burdens, some sort of weight that you've been carrying that no longer serves you. And quite honestly, quite frankly, it never really did. With this 10 of swords energy, it was painful the whole way through. And you being such a committed energy, an energy that's just like, you know, we're gonna get this done, we're gonna do this. I'm in this for the long haul, I'm in this from start to finish. This was, this just feels like it was agonizing from jump, Virgo, but now it seems to be over and done with, and that's a beautiful thing. Now this could have been, this could have happened uh, before prior to reaching the month of August. This could happen in August. This could happen later on in August, but this almost feels like a tower situation, Virgo, but it really just feels like you're the one that's really putting your foot down here and saying, is in, uh, saying enough is enough. I'm done struggling with this. I'm done feeling slighted by this. I'm done feeling chained is what I just heard. Woo, all right, Virgo, I know that's right. Okay, so let's get into the rest of the reading here for you and see what we've got. Alrighty, kids, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August. 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Virgo, I'm giving this five shuffles and we'll see what comes out for you. Now, um, it's interesting because I am, I'm seeing, my eyes are closed right now. That's shuffle number one. This is shuffle number two. Um, and I'm seeing space, like I'm seeing uh, outer space and I'm hearing the sky is the limit and I'm kind of feeling uh, an energy of the world where, number three, where you kind of have the ability to move forward and do anything you want. Four and five for my Virgos. Sun, moon, rising and Venus for the month of August, 2019. Best messages please, spirit. I'm hearing the world is your oyster. It's like it, you really have come into this new sense of independence with the Nine of Pentacles energy that I was feeling for you, picking up on already. Boop. All right, Virgo. Overall energy. Man, the cards are really jumpy because if you saw that last card, which is going to be the first card of your overall energy, that wanted to just fly out. So let's see what that is. Ah, yes. None other than the Six of Pentacles, Virgo. Again, the straw that broke the camel's back. It's, 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 it's like you've come to a sense of understanding of what true reciprocity or true give and take means for you. Now, for some of you, this is in fact a situation in which you were entangled in, within or um, part of a situation in which you were constantly giving and they were constantly taking and not nearly as much as you were giving into the situation was given back to you. For others of you, you were this individual, you were or are this individual who was the taker, okay? And for some of you, it could be a situation in which you finally had one singular tower moment or one singular situation or circumstance that really woke you up. For others of you, I'm feeling like this was over a long period of time of constantly being in these situations where it's almost like um, Einstein's, uh, is it Einstein that said it? I don't know. But the, the, the theory of um, the, the definition of insanity, of doing things, the, some, the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. Finally, somehow, someone got the message. 
okay? And now we're focused on reciprocity here. That's a beautiful thing, Virgo. Oh, yes, look at here, the Ace of Cups. But this is an Ace of Cups of self-love, y'all. Self-love, okay? Underneath the Ace of Cups, you've got the Three of Cups, the union of body, mind, and spirit. This also, I'm feeling like this is a community. There could be, like some of you may have like a friend circle that may have been trying to open your eyes to this and now you finally got the message and we're celebrating with you is what I'm hearing, okay? But this also could be the universe. It doesn't have to necessarily be an external friend situation. This could be your internal reality, your, your spirit guides, your ancestors, um, the angels, God, source, creator, whatever you identify with. They're cheering along with you because someone finally got the message, okay? Okay, excellent. Underneath Three of Cups, hey now, the Nine of Cups. Satisfaction guaranteed. I'm hearing it, Virgo. That's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. Wow, okay, there's not much more explanation that's needed in these overall energies. These overall energies are really, uh, excuse my language, but these overall energies are really fucking beautiful, <laughs> okay? Especially with this Ace of Cups here. Now, for some of you, I'm picking up that this Ace of Cups is going to leave you, lead you towards, oh, a divine union, maybe? A union of sorts, um, a partnership, a relationship, but it's because you are balanced in the form of reciprocity, or you're getting balanced in the form of reciprocity. So that's definitely what could lead you to a reciprocal relationship, where you may not have had that in the past, okay? Excellent, Virgo. So now getting into your reading here, we're going to do first half, second half of the reading. You could look at this as first half, second half of the month, or you could look at it as first half, second half of the reading. Whatever resonates with you the most, go for it. But keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. You have, oh boy, all right, the Nine of Swords. Okay. Um, interesting, interestingly enough, the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Swords both came out for Leo, which is the reading that I just did prior to this one. So um, you could be a Virgo Leo Cusper. So you might want to watch the Leo reading, all right? Nine of Swords is the anxiety though. Fear, trepidation, but it's an illusion, Virgo. This is, I, I really kind of feel like this is like your perfectionistic side coming through and saying, no, no, it can't happen this way. This is less than perfect, for, for lack of a better term. You know what I mean? You're, you, I'm just trying to, you get what I'm saying. Um, this isn't, ooh, I'm hearing or feeling, this isn't happening in an ideal manner. And some of you are still, even though you're in the process of gaining this understanding of reciprocity, you still have some sort of image that you are desiring to, up, to keep up. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. Yeah, Spirit's saying it's not absolutely necessary, Virgo, but you may be causing yourself a little more trouble by trying to keep up a certain image in the face of your changing reality, right? If your reality is changing, if everything around you is changing, why can't your image change? You know what I mean? Nine of Swords is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. Oof, yes, some of you are still wanting to hold on. There is some, there is some strong resistance here, but it's not, it's not the type of, of resistance in the form of you being stubborn in that I just don't want to change or this doesn't feel right, blah, blah, blah. It's more a matter of, oh, I just heard specifically, what is this going to do to my family? What is this going to do to people around me? It's, it's out of fear of change. And it's not, it doesn't feel like it's you're, you're, you're crossing your arms and, and saying, I refuse to change, blah, blah. No, this is like, I don't know if this, oh God, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if this is the right thing. I am definitely feeling a similar energy to the Leo reading in, in terms of whatever justice is, is, is mitigated here or, or is put out here in terms of a change you're making to your life people are getting their own comeuppance. You have nothing to do with that. It's because of their own actions that they're now getting the results that are being doled out to them, okay? You can't, you can't change that for anybody. I'm just feeling like there is struggle, there is fear, there is stress around releasing something. And this may be a long-term commitment that you may have made. Maybe this is a commitment to a family, like family members, a, a marriage, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just a, a, a long-term committed relationship, friendships, maybe it's a job. And it could be a job in relation to how you have identified in life and like this, I, this job is a, very much a part of your identity, but now that's changing. You gotta allow yourself to be fluid, Virgo, and I know that's not easy, especially as an earth sign, but 
I mean, it's necessary, especially if you are, if you, when you are in the process of um, understanding the true meaning of reciprocity. Okay, you have to be willing to flow, and able to. Well, you're able to flow. You're absolutely able to flow, but you have to be willing to flow. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, Virgo, you have the Two of Wands. There's that Two of Wands again. You've got a decision to make. You are moving to a new, in, 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 you're at a crossroads. You're moving into a new direction in life. You're moving on to a new path, a new trajectory. I just heard a new career trajectory. So you are going to have to let go of some things. For some of you, the fear of letting go with this Nine of Swords and the Four of Pentacles here is absolutely financial. And there may be a situation in which, yes, you know, you might have to, you know, tighten your belt, you know, tighten your purse strings a little bit, you know, keep that under control. But that doesn't mean that you're going to be there forever. All right. You, again, you have to be willing to flow with the universe here. Two of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Wands. Yes, hunty. You might be dealing with an Aries specifically or another fire sign, Leo or Sagittarius. You might have Aries, Leo or Sagittarius in your chart. I do, in fact feel like this is you or potentially could be you. Okay, Virgo? In terms of being confident, sure of yourself, and knowing, maybe not knowing exactly how things are going to turn out, but definitely knowing where you're headed, what you're going towards, what you want, or, or at not maybe, maybe not necessarily exactly what you're moving towards, but knowing what it is you want. Knowing, I just heard, the desired effect, regardless of how it may actually materialize or work out as time goes on, but this is you being confident and strong and fiery and passionate, okay? Knowing what it is that you want from the world and in the world and not being afraid to allow yourself to have it. <laughs> not being afraid to allow yourself to have it, or in other words, not being afraid to allow yourself to receive the Six of Pentacles, okay? Because the feminine in the Queen of Wands is the receptive energy. And you, being a Virgo, whether you're a man or a woman, the, the Virgo is a feminine energy, a feminine dominant energy. It is a receptive energy. It is a flowy energy, okay? But you've got to be able to do what's right for you, Virgo. And I do believe that's what you're learning here, all right? Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Virgo, the Four of Swords, yeah, the challenge is just to chill the fuck out, <laughs> all right? Because you've got all this going through your head. And honestly, when you're focused and centered in this energy here, Nine of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords being anxiety, I'm hearing confusion, yes, confusion, sleepless nights, um, not being able to think correctly, think straight, think clearly, and, 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 and afraid of let, to let go of something, you're not, if you're stuck in that energy, you're really not going to be able to move forward in the way that you're desiring to. So your challenge right here, right now, is to chill, okay? Rest, meditate, especially when you find yourselves in that, those places or the, those mind spaces where you're just overthinking like crazy. Stop everything, literally, Virgo, unless it's, unless it's unsafe or dangerous for you to do so, I, I would recommend that you stop everything and just sit and meditate sit with those feelings sit with those thoughts observe them feel through them but do not identify with them do not take them on do not own them just experience them and let them go yes four of swords in your challenge in the first half of your reading here is coupled with the hermit here you are virgo now specifically what this is saying, your challenge right here, right now, Virgo, whenever you find yourself in this moment is to go within and recognize why these thoughts, the emotions, these emotions are coming up. Also, go within and recognize the being and individual that you are. You are by no means under the control of anyone else unless you give them that control, Virgo. So it's time for you to go, to go within and understand why you've been giving this power away. Mm -hmm. What fears does that bring up? What, um, sense, what, uh, what forms or senses of insecurity or in, um, in uh, oh gosh, I just had it and it, um, insufficiency, there it is. Are you holding within yourself that, are, that is influencing you to give your power away to others, okay? 
Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Virgo, you have death. Booyah! There's that change. You could be dealing with a Scorpio energy. You could have Scorpio in your chart. But this is a mass, this is a transformation, Virgo. Phoenix from the ashes risen, if you will. All right? Death is coupled with, yes, the Three of Pentacles. A death that is leading to a brand new rebirth. This could be financial. This could, we could definitely be talking about career. But the most challenging aspect is what, what I'm hearing right now. The most challenging aspect for you, Virgo, is to build of your own accord. And that's what you're being influenced to do here. I mean, that is literally the straw that has broken the camel's back and is now influencing that camel to build back stronger, better, and harder. More secure is what I just heard. Okay, I like that, Virgo. I like it a lot. Getting into the second half of your reading here. Now, this could be the future energies for you, or it could just be um, more surrounding energies. Take it as it resonates for you guys. This is a general reading. First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. In the, fir in the second half of your reading here, you have the Six of Cups. Reconciliation is what I just heard. Reconciling the past. Getting back to your inner child. Yeah. Woo! Okay, well, that was confirmation. <laughs> Getting back to your inner child. There may be some situations or some circumstances that have really taken you out of touch in what it is you truly desire out of life. All right? Six of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Swords. Wow. What I'm getting from this, though, is vigorously defending your inner child or really going back and cleaning up some of the discrepancies from the past. All right, Virgo. I just, I get a very strong energy of you standing up for yourself here with these two cards, and that's beautiful. Who were you before all of those burdens were piled onto your back? That is a really good question that I would really like for you guys to ask yourselves if you are resonating with this right now. Who were you before you allowed yourself to accept all of those responsibilities that were never yours to take on to begin with? And this could have a lot to do with family, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading here, Virgo, you have justice. Libra energy, you could have Libra in your chart. You could be dealing with a Libra. Justice is being served here for you, Libra. Uh, sorry, uh, Virgo. For some of you, you do have justice that's coming through in the form of, um, in terms of an actual Libra in your life. Um, okay, the justice is coupled with the Five of Swords. Ooh, ooh! I'm telling you, Virgo. There are some people that are not gonna be happy about this, but you can't do a damn thing about it because you are doing what's right for you. You're following your path. You've, you're finding your inner light or you found your inner light. You found your inner sense of truth and honesty and justice is being served in, uh, in the way of this. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, Virgo. If you run on into a situation in which people are now trying to cut you down, please, please, Spirit is saying emphatically, do not give in to that energy because it will only come back around to hurt you again. Let them do whatever it is that they're going to do. Obviously, take adequate steps to protect yourself. But again, you can't control anyone else's actions. And to be quite honest, Virgo, if you make some massive change in your life that is for your own betterment, and ultimately, which would be the betterment of the good around, of the betterment of the people around you, because you are now embodying your, uh, the best version of yourself as you can in, any, in that moment, if you got people coming at you, from left, right, and center trying to tear you down, that's pretty telling. Like, those are some people that you probably don't need in your life any longer. And I don't give a damn who they are. Mother, father, sister, brother, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa, cousin. I don't give a shit, Virgo. If they don't like the changes that you are making, if they don't like the fact that you are now de demanding reciprocity in your relationship, cut them loose, honey boo boo. All right? But that's the lesson you're learning here, Virg. <laughs> I just, I totally, I've never said that before, but I totally just um, 
I just called you Virg instead of Virgo. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Anyway, moving forward. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Virgo, you've got the High Priestess. Honey, listen to your intuition. The signs and the synchronicities, Virgo. Your challenge is to go within, find your inner truth, connect with your intuition, connect, connect with the divine, however you identify with it, and follow through with, with the information, the downloads that they give you. For some of you, Virgo, for some of you, you've been, you've been getting this nudge. Hey, time to wake up, Virgo, for some time. But now it's time to put that into action. And to be quite honest with you, I feel like, oh, okay, for some of you, this justice and the five of swords, this is energy that you were putting out there, Virgo. Mm. And that could be that, the straw that broke the camel's back. I just heard it again. So now that could be what's influencing you to make this change. Okay. The high priestess is coupled with Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Look, I'm telling you, I'm, t I'm telling you, Virgo. Listen to your intuition and take action accordingly. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No conversation, no delegation, no, oh, well, there's this piece of evidence here. Ah, 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 no. Trust your intuition, Virgo, because you know what's going on here. Reciprocity is the key. If something is not reciprocal and you know it for a fact, even though you don't have the physical proof, the physical evidence, but your gut is screaming at you, hollering at you, this is not fair, this is not balanced, honey, cut it out. No if, ands, or buts. That is your challenge. And yes, that's going to be difficult because some of these people, some of these individuals, some of these relationships that you have that are not reciprocal are in fact familial. They are family. They are your blood relatives, Virgo. But you can't do anything about how they choose to conduct themselves, no matter how close you think you are to them. Or no matter how close they might try to get you to believe that you two are. Because for some of you that I'm picking, well, not just you two, the, 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 they could be a number of you. For some of you, I'm picking up specifically that these are individuals that are fairly narcissistic in nature and gaslight you and try to tell you, oh, well, I do this for you. I'm that for you. I do blah, blah, blah. And the least you could do is help me out here. But you helping them out is draining you like crazy and has been all along. But because of the familial ties and because of your loyalty and devotion as a Virgo, you let it slide. No more. Woo. I have to say, just for coming to this realization, this awakening, this understanding, under seeing this differently, Virgo, I am very, very proud of you for making that shift. Now it's time to start taking some action, okay? But also understand there's no need to rush here. Again, you got to... Sit with this for a second. Sit with your feelings. Sit with your emotions. Go within and really find what is true for you and make the cuts accordingly, accordingly because I really do feel like with this High Priestess and the Queen of Swords energy, you are, in fact, going to get the high sign when the time to strike is, okay? And try to do it as... Huh, I want to say compassionately as possible, even though the Queen of Swords is really not in any way shape or form trying to deal with emotions just try not to be too aggressive i guess i don't know take it as you will closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here virgo you have the knight of cups now some people do see the knight of cups as a little bit of a emotionally selfish energy but here i'm feeling like mm, being a little emotionally selfish right now might be a good thing for you but also this is living with an open heart being an individual that has you, that lives with your heart on your sleeve, compassionate and caring and understanding. But the, really the only way that you can do that, effectively do that for others, is if you really learn how to do that for yourself. And I really think that's what's happening here. Okay, Virgo? Knight of Cups is coupled with... Oh, yes, the Knight of Pentacles. This is more of your energy, Virgo, with the Knights. I do see the Knights and the Pages as uh, the mutable signs, which in the Earth section or the Pentacles section would be... Virgo, okay? Um, slow and steady wins the race. Honor yourself, Virgo. Slowly but surely, you will be able to come out of this stronger on the other side, but you don't have to rush. That's literally what I was just ta speaking to. You don't have to rush this, all right? You can just let it happen naturally, okay? 
I like this for you, Virgo. I really do. All right? Getting into your oracle guidance now. Form of Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019. Last shuffle here, Virgo. And here we go. Best message, please, spirit. For my Virgos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019. Oracle guidance, please, spirit. Best message here. Just Whoa! Okay, there it is. Ah, yes, Virgo. Card number 29, which does boil down to 11. Seeing the true you. I know that's right. <laughs> All right, card number 29. Here we go. Sometimes we believe that others tell us, I'm sorry, sometimes we believe what others tell us we are as though the self we see reflected back to us through their eyes is truth. Yet the accuracy of a reflection depends on the clarity of that which is doing the reflecting. If the receiver forms any opinion about what is perceived, then what is reflected back to us will, at best, be distorted. It is not necessary through ill will. I'm sorry. It is not necessarily through ill will. It is just the mechanics of the situation. Even the moon reflects the sun in varying degrees of fullness and clarity. We can learn something of the nature of the sun from the moon, but not as much as through direct perception. This oracle has come to you because you have been putting rather too much faith in the reflections others have of you to the point that you might not be honoring all that you are and all that you are becoming because you believe too little of yourself. There may be those around you that are able to reflect you more faithfully and even help you see more of your own greatness and beauty. These are the souls blessed with inner stillness. In the clear waters of their ocean of consciousness, you can come to recognize yourself with clearer perception. However, there are those who have not tended to their own ocean and are unable to be still enough to genuinely receive and reflect your light back to you. There is no judgment here. Each takes the path of self-healing that is available and appropriate at any given time. However, to attempt to see the magnificence of, the, of a sun in a very partial moon doesn't make too much sense. If you are blessed with those in your life who can show you the beauty within you, wonderful. Even so, this oracle comes to you with a task you are now ready for. You are to begin to develop the art of direct perception. This is the ability to recognize yourself not only in the eyes of others, but from how you feel about yourself, how you experience yourself, and how you observe yourself with compassion and kindness from within. This is a step towards a radical empowerment that does not require perfection in order for you to recognize you are lovable and have much to offer. It is empowerment based on the acceptance of all that you are, working with your strengths, tending to your weaknesses, and being loving, encouraging, and nurturing of all that you perceive. As you continue on this journey, you will not only see your human self, but the eternal within you. This is a breathtaking experience that opens you up to the creative energy that flows abundantly through all of life. It is an experience that takes great preparation because we must be strong within our own self-love and acceptance to be able to hold acceptance for all of life. Ace of Cups. This oracle is nudging you into that perception, for when you have the experience of truly beholding yourself, all judgment, fear, and doubt will fall away and you will just know yourself to be sacred. Then you will be asked to embrace the deeper journey of sacred rebellion against judgment and fear and into passionate creativity and unconditional trust in life. This oracle also comes with a special message for you. If you are getting confused about who you are and your motives or actions based on what others are saying or how they are responding to you, step back. In your quest to be a responsible person, you may be unintentionally taking on the feelings of others, making their reflections of you more than they are in truth. 
More often than not, reflections are not about the state of the reflector than what is... Oh, right. More often than not, reflections are more about the state of the reflector rather than what is being reflected. Let those external perceptions go. Can you just acknowledge yourself? Do so and be free. Wow. So there you have it, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, a very happy birthday to the August Virgos. <clears throat> and I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.